Okay, today we're going to be upgrading the Cat Trek so we can put more lights on the front. Right now we have a Knight Rider 750 and it's generally a good amount of light, but it'd be nice to have a backup on there. And you can see the limitation of this on this bar here, you can only put one light. Now this upgrade here, I should be able to put two, maybe even three lights on here. Okay, now we have it installed. It's very easy to install, there's just one bolt and there's a pin right here. Uh, it, comes with, it comes with all the nice little pads here to protect your frame with different type of thicknesses, which is great. And we'll turn everything on so you can see the light here. And like I said, you can put two lights on this and I'll put the link in the description below on Amazon, you can find this thing here. And this is a Knight Rider 750 and this is a Knight Rider 350 light. And they have been very durable. This one is about eight years old, still going strong with the same battery. The only negative of this one is you have this separate pack that you gotta detach, but the good news is you can put this on your helmet, which is really nice. Um, this one you can put on your helmet too. It comes with a helmet mount, but it's a little more uh, cumbersome on your head. Um, we got this cat trike tricked out pretty good. We've got the optional water bottle holder here. We got double mirrors. We have the wrist rest here. Um, another water bottle holder there. Uh, these cat trike fenders are amazing. Um, they keep out so much debris off the bike you wouldn't believe. Um, and on the back and the front, we have the big apple tires. Um, these are the 2.1s and they are very, very comfortable. They take out a lot of low frequency vibration, humming, things like that that would vibrate your fingers. Um, that is really, really nice because I felt like on our roads, where at least where we live, it's there's a, there's a lot of vibrations. Um, this is not full suspension. This is just a Cat Trike Expedition, probably nine years old. Um, and it is a very comfortable bike. It's a lower bike than some of the newer Cat Trikes like the Trail and the Villager but you could put a lot of gear on it, which is really nice. I think my next upgrade is probably gonna be the headrest. This headrest is a little bit stiff. I might be able to just add some foam to it. If not, I'll just have to get a totally different kind of headrest. Um, and the mesh seat's getting a little bit worn. Some of these straps are starting to get, get frayed, but after thousands and thousands of miles, I put about 3,000 miles a year on it, but thousands and thousands of miles, and it's in remarkable shape, and it's had a chain cassette replacement once uh, the cables for the brakes have been replaced with new cables and the shifters did wear out so we got new shifters here which is nice and that's the cat trike expedition with this new accessory mount they call it one last thing i wanted to show you normally i wear cycling shoes which are actually narrower than the flip-flops here but you can see the clearance. I'm sure I'd, I would get questions about clearance, but there's no problems even with these big, huge flip-flops. And with cycling shoes, they're even, even narrower, so there's no chance of hitting at all. You can see here, there's just no way it's gonna hit. And clipped in, of course, your feet are gonna be in one spot all the time. If you're Wondering about the bug light, we live in Florida. So every time we open the garage, bugs come in with us. We come in, shut the garage, and the bug zapper gets them. Very handy in Florida.